Amen. So we're handling um, this year. We are, uh, okay, this part we're handling building a a home and by wisdom. Is that not what we're handling? I think that's what that you're saying to me. We, you know, building a home by wisdom, and uh, that's 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 a lot. That's a lot. But we're just going to go. After I can go to the. I can't finish today. We've got me tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Uh, because uh, it's a lot of things are inside the place, but I'm trusting God that little we, little we God will allow us to do that. We can do it very well, mm, so I can meet what God has in mind. Um, I want us to know that uh, a home. I like the word a home because that word home has uh, not been. Most of the time, it's not where well used to the way God wants it to be used. Are you at home? Uh, if you're at home, I'll come. I'll meet you by three o'clock. You mean you, um, you mean that he's in his house? So home is used much more, much more like a place. Their home is more than a place. It's like just talking about using, a, using the word place in uh, John chapter 14. He said, uh, in my father's house are many mansions, but right now, so I would have told you, I come to prepare a place. A place there is a home, it's a, a dwelling. Not just, not just a structural, uh, physic, physical place. He's talking about an institution, a dwelling. There's a, a dwelling that's called a home. Say amen. amen. And all the why, that's what God has. That's the project that God has. Yes, that's what God has. If we have time tomorrow, we're going to, we're going to search some scriptures together. So something can rest well with us. Because uh, um, it's not a project that came in because man fell. No. Yeah. That's the original thing that God has in mind. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. In my father's house are many mansions or many places or many abiding places. So that word home is, home is at Abbott. Yeah. Abbott. So you can be in a house and not be at home. And that's where the word family is taken from. A family is a home. So you just said, you just said, uh, where I am, you may be there. I'm in a place. I'm in a home. I'm in a home. And I want to be in a home. I want you to be at home. So you can have a, a, you can be in a place, you can be in a place and not be at home. At home. So it's not. So it's not. If it's if it's easy to get a home, then every house will be a home. <laughs> it's not easy to get a home. It's easy to get a house. <laughs> if you have money, you can just just money. God come to your man and today. You just buy the buy a house. You can buy it. You can still buy it anywhere. Where's the Where's the rainy place near Badana? It's no It's no more Bodija. Is you use a Bodija? Old, eh? It's old. Jericho. I mean, New Jericho, eh? You buy a nice building. People will be passing. We want. Who has the house? Who has the house? Uh, is the house you are seeing? You have not seen a home. Yeah. Within some weeks, you can see somebody. Some a home can invade the place and will not be. will not be at home. Wow. There will be a home, but you are not at home. Yeah. So there are things that make a, that make a home. Yeah. Uh, when you get there, a home is not really about when you get there. You are not at home. It's as if you should go and live somewhere else. 
Hey Amen. Spend a week. I feel like, ah, I, I want to run away from. So it's not really, you're not at home in the home, you know what I'm saying? A home came into a house, but it's not, it's not really the, the home. So you are not, can't be at home there. So we're talking about a home where you can be at home. Say home. Say home. Where, you, where I can be at home. And everyone there, they're at home because it's really a home. A home. That's what the context, what is called house in the Bible. Praise God. Say amen. amen. And it's only God that can, that can, that can build such. Yes, God is the owner of homes. Yes, you just say, my father has many places. <laughs> he has many homes. Yes, many abiding places. But there's a home. There's a place I want to be. Don't just stay anywhere. There's a place where, and that's where, this, that's where I am. That's where my father is. That's the place I want it to be. So he has, he has a dream of a dwelling place. Is that not true? Say hey, amen. amen. So the marriage institution was designed to be, to, be, to be the offshoot of a home. So the marriage institution does not stay on its own. It exists. That's what God has said. It is not good that the man, the man is not Adam. That the man, the man is humanity. Should have a home. When is just just one like that one without a home? It's like one of the animals. Some of the animals have their home there, but the man has no home. So marriage came because of home. That's why every human being should belong to a home. Yes, what did I say? Come on, say it very well. Should Nobody should be on the street. Wow. Nobody should live in a house. Should, should, should be part of a home. What God is built, God's project is home. God, go back to that psalm and say, God sets solitaries in families. Uh -huh. God does not want anybody to dwell alone. He wants everyone to be in family. Only rebellious dwell. So anybody that's not in the family is where? It's in a dry land. Even if he's living in a mansion. It's a dry land. So there's something that God sees in that place that cannot that, that only God can provide. Money cannot provide what is the, what should be in a home that makes a, a home really a home. Money can provide it. So we're not really running race with this world. We we must know God's project clear. I went the house, please. What I say, we must know God's project clearly. And so we're not intimidated or by you know when you when you are too sure what is what you are doing and what you, what is what you, are, you can see what is evolving. What that does that do does not make any sense to you? Because yes, that every anything that is not be by this pattern will crumble. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm, we, we, there's usually that thing. Uh, any other ground in your any? He sing a sound. He sing a sound. It may, it may look as if he's standing for this one time. He's going to sink. What's that? It's about saying sinking already. Yes, Say amen. amen. With his beauty and glory. Why? It's not being designed around God's project. It's designed by smart mind. And sometimes they'll go, we, we bought, all of us bought into it and we felt it's the best life. We want to be like the West. Families are crumbling in the West. I think you know that. Say Amen. Now they don't want to, they don't want to even have families anymore. There are guys who want to have three girls, baby mama. Who has one one baby, one baby, one baby, one baby. That's the, that's the trending thing in the in the US. It's the trending thing. So when you want to, say, you want to stay with the woman, I wonder what, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You want to allow to be confined. 
There's space for you to enjoy yourself because oh, the girls also they don't want to steal that man. Yes. One child is, is okay. So the trade is, is prospering well. Mm. Girls who don't want to stay with a man are enjoying themselves. And guys who don't want to be in trouble with a woman are in the house, please. Yeah. But what are they going to miss? A home. So they are building large space of dry land in a wealthy land. <laughs> We may look at we may look old school. What do we say? But we're talking about what, what will last at the what do you <laughs> after said and done. The one we are saying is what will remain. Well, it's not our project, it's God's project. It's an age long project. Say amen quickly, please. So I want us to know that God has the home in his vision. Even concerning church. Church really, church is uh, to start with, if man has not fallen, for example, if man has not fallen, there won't be church the way we have it today. It is majorly, it is flesh. It is flesh that brought the, the, the church as we see today to beast to start. Because we have been divided along flesh. They have to deal with flesh first. That's why the first base of the church is the church of Christ. Yeah. It's to deal with flesh and build the new family. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Say amen. amen. So, so God's ordination for eternal life was on, on families. Yeah. And until the family church does well, yeah. eternal life will not come to its fullest. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is the there is a corporate church we're seeing now yes. that can be that can go on the line of organization for a long time and look well. We can organize church. Yes. And church will look fine where. Ah. Even though if you feel that message is the trendy message, you can bring it to your church. <laughs> Today we now have more than 1,000 songs. Songs from here, songs from Lagos, songs from everywhere. So I'm saying, I, I went to the house place. Yeah. You can have all of that and say not have a church that has the vision of dovetailing back to that original pattern yes, of the family or the home that God has his mind on. Let me tell you, the only place where you can be yourself completely is in the home. Don't know how much we say, let's be, let's integrate here. Let's be close to ourselves. Ah, all of that. There's still a part of you that you'll never open. You will never open it. If it's not a secret, it'll be privacy. Now some of us, we have secret. Some of us don't have secret, we have privacy. It's not a secret, but it's private. <laughs> It still means that I won't open it up to anybody. It's private. So, what am I saying? That we can frame church. We can organize it. But you can't organize the home. The home is an organism. It has, it, by its life, it grows or it dies. Yes. That's why, listen to me, when the devil attacked man, we saw the home broke down gradually. Yes. To, see, to see Cain grow up in the house. Yes. Those houses were not small houses, they were everlasting houses. Yes. And for Cain, they were not, there was no adultery in that house, there's no fornication in that house. For greater seed to grow up there, then you will know exactly what the enemy has, what he has done, what he has raised. Am I in the house, please? Uh, so, in church here, we can deal with we can deal with many of these sins of the flesh, but the real sin of the soul 
The place where he shows up is in the house. Sometimes someone can blow to church. We can smell it. But this real place of his this real abiding place is in the hole. So the day eternal life start growing home. <laughs> so, so the project is actually the the I, I see that the next phase of the project, really speaking. We have seen churches doing well. And I'm, I'm telling you, it's the good you are doing well. I'm telling you, amen. Like some of our churches are doing very well. Say amen. amen. <laughs> but now the next phase is to go and kill the devil in the house. But that's, that's where our sons will be raised. Yeah. <laughs> Say amen, please. Yeah. So, the Lord discussed this with me some time ago and said, oh, oh guys, you have tried, you have done well. <laughs> I, I can say everyone not and say, oh, you have done well, you have done well, you have tried, you have done well. But now the next phase is, so we begin to, I begin to talk about family. I said talk about family last week, I Yes, I said about family last week. I began to, you know, look more into that uh, framework. Okay? Uh, we're going to look at some few places today together. Now let's start from Psalm. It is these two Psalms, Psalm 127, 128. Those two Psalms are together. They're just one Psalm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you, you know that many of the judges went to everlasting realms. Church structures begin to yeah. begin to win. Yeah. Yeah. Once you get to episode of John, yes, you don't hear the king. Yes, so you don't hear apostle. You don't even say prophet. Mm. When they call, when they say somebody is a prophet there, it's not prophet like efficient. Yes, They are witnesses. Yeah. It's not prophet like Ephesians. So the, the thing changes when you start hearing elder. When you hear a let lady and her children, what does it look like? <laughs> Can you see that? So when we move on, churches will still remain, but the real visibility. Something will be more, become more visible. Yeah. That God's garden will become more visible Amen. than the Christ structural pattern. Yeah. Say, hey, man. Amen. So, at that project is what uh, David was saying in this place. Mm. And that project, except the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> that project, except the Lord. Sir, every, I said Cain, Cain was placed in a house. As good as Samuel was, he couldn't raise children. Samuel was a man who would never allow the word of God to fall. Not one word. Samuel. Not one word. He couldn't raise children. Talk to us of a lie. Who are sons of Belial? Sons of where? Sons of sons of Moses. Where are they? Are, are you hearing me? Now, these are great men, great men that God Himself commended. Moses was compared to Jesus as a faithful servant. <laughs> 